Can atypical glandular cells be benign? If you've recently received a pap test result showing atypical glandular cells, you might be wondering what this means and whether it could be something benign. Let's break it down to understand this better. Atypical glandular cells, or AGC, are cells that look abnormal under a microscope but don't clearly indicate cancer. These cells are usually found in the endocervical canal or the lining of the uterus. The term atypical means these cells don't appear normal, but they don't have all the features of cancer cells either. The Bethesda system, which is used to classify these cells, divides AGC into several subcategories. These include favor reactive, favor neoplasia, and not otherwise specified. The favor reactive category suggests that the cellular changes are likely due to a benign process, such as an infection or inflammation. On the other hand, favor neoplasia indicates that the changes are suspicious for precancerous or cancerous conditions. When the diagnosis is favor reactive, it means that the atypical cells are probably not cancerous. This could be due to various benign conditions like squamous or tubular metaplasia endometriosis, or even changes associated with pregnancy. In these cases, the cells are not typically a sign of something serious, but they still need to be monitored. However, even if the initial diagnosis suggests a benign cause, it's crucial to follow up with further tests. This is because atypical glandular cells can sometimes be associated with more serious underlying conditions such as high-grade squamous lesions, adenocarcinoma in situ, AIS, or even invasive cancer. For patients with AGC, the next steps usually involve a colposcopic examination and possibly a biopsy. The colposcopist will examine the cervix and may take a sample of tissue for further analysis. If the colposcopy and biopsy are negative, but the AGC diagnosis persists, additional tests like endometrial sampling or a cone biopsy might be necessary. In summary, while atypical glandular cells can sometimes be benign, especially if classified as favor reactive, it's essential to take these findings seriously and follow up with the recommended tests and examinations to rule out any potential serious conditions. Your healthcare provider will guide you through the process to ensure your health and well-being.